So, for our beautiful poem tonight, most people already know the poems that I read were created by Raymond Trombley, a good friend of mine. They were inspired by my, my, by my paintings, by my photographs, by my journey, by how I dealt with spirit, how I helped, you know, how I connected to spirit. And he created these to lovingly support and, and encourage me to continue doing what I do. These are all, uh, the first copy went to the Canadian National Archives. You have over 50 beautiful poems in here. There's poems for everything. So, you know, this is, this is something that can help everyone. And all the money that's raised from this book goes to help build the official retreat that is coming this spring. We're almost there. <laughs> Things are moving so well now. It's just like, I'm loving it. I'm loving it because I've earned it. And I take it with gratitude, and I take it with open heart and open arms. I've worked hard for it. I have earned it. And it is my right to claim it now, and I am. So this is what we are doing. Okay. So our beautiful poem for tonight is Live a Life of Love. Letting go of my worries, a new door opened. I took a few deep breaths and no longer felt broken. Valuing a life of pure love became one of my dearest saviors. Each pulsation of my heart unconditionally reached out to others. As I did so, at times, I may have overstretched myself. I tried to set limits. Listening to my body and to my soul's sweet message became my sacred moments. I dearly cherished their, their precious signals, since they were preoccupied with my health. Fortunately, they quickly made me realize that love was the key and the source to wealth. Everlasting peace evaded my whole being. My Creator sent me His blessings. One by one, as I savored them, my soul thought she was in heaven. For once she understood that the stars were keeping her company. Love doesn't only mean respecting, treating others with dignity. Oh, it is also emphasizing sacrifice, compassion, and self-care. Veering attention to one's self may not be perceived as fair. Ah, uh, living the life of love implies taking care of oneself. So this is what it is. Take care of yourselves now. This is the best you can do, okay? Take care of yourselves. Be true to yourselves. Create that world. And what if, if what you want is waiting for you. It is already here. So if you want love, give love. If you want respect, respect people. If you want compassion, be compassionate. But if you're going to stand there pointing fingers and telling everybody they're wrong because they don't follow the same thing you do or they don't believe the same thing you believe, then that is exactly what you're going to get in return. So the choice is yours. Create your loving world or live in the chaos of greed and pride. It's up to you. <laughs>